you very much for the invitation and for the opportunity to give this series of lecture. Um, right. So I'll, today, I, my plan is to uh, to do uh, some kind of introduction to this lecture and. Uh, with, so and, and so, m one of my goals is also to introduce uh, the um, somehow the, the language that I, I will be using during the um, the remaining lectures. Um, and uh, so, so it will be quite basic, in fact. Um, but uh, so, yeah. Um, right. So the as, so the, so my, my goal in, the, in this series of lectures is to. Uh, to, to discuss uh, my last uh, failed attempt to, to prove this uh, conservativity conjecture and to somehow to, uh, to explain uh, wh where, where the gap is and um, also give, to give some ideas of how one might uh, hopefully at some point uh, fix this gap. So, right. and I, I, so I, I start uh, maybe by, by stating this conjecture so I, I assume that most of you uh, know the statement, but I'll give it anyway. So I'll uh, have a base field uh, K that I will be working over, um, uh, which will be uh, somehow of characteristic zero. But, 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 the, but the conjecture somehow also, of course, makes sense in characteristic P. But um, all right, so the conjecture is uh, is the following. So let, let, let me write uh, Chow K. This will be the the category of Chow motive. Um, with rational coefficient. So the conjecture says the following. You mean for smooth projective varieties? Yes. This is uh, the usual category of Chow motives. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, right, so the conjecture says the following. So if you fix a, uh, a veil cohomology theory, let's, let's call it H upper star W. So this is a cohomology theory on, on smooth projective varieties with uh, some axioms. Um, uh, let, let me maybe just say fix um, one classical. So let's uh, just take it. So, for example, uh, uh, eladic, uh, eladic cohomology or Betti cohomology or the Ram cohomology. Um, okay. So then, um, uh, then uh, so a, co a correspondence. Gamma bit, so between Chow motive uh, is an isomorphism in in this category of Chow motives, Chow, Chow K, uh, if and only if uh, then used. Morphism in cohomology, so H star omega gamma, right? So this would be going uh, from the cohomology of n to the cohomology of n, it's contravariant, is an isomorphism. Okay, so uh, uh, this is. This is one, one, uh, maybe the simplest way uh, of setting the, this, uh, or maybe the simplest case or, uh, of this conservativity conjecture. Um, and uh, yes, of course. So it this makes sense for Betty cohomology, but yes. for Kuhl cohomology, or, or when the field of definition of the, of the cohomology theory is larger, you can think of a, a variant where you take Chow motive with coefficients, let's say, in QL or in the larger field. Yes. And ask whether the, co the the same statement holds. That I see. Is, yeah. Okay. So, and so does it follow somehow formally from? Let us say that you know even when you. I think it follows formally. I, uh, to be honest, I've never really 
did the checking, but I'm, I'm completely convinced that it's, it follows formally. But also, it's also natural to, to, to just put some, co some coefficient here and, um, and ask uh, f for the same. Your, your common energy theory has coefficients where? OK, let, 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 let's say in lambda. So let, let, let me fix a field lambda. Uh, OK. So l l later, I, I, will, I will be wor working with the Durham cohomology, and uh, I will be working k-linearly. So it's, uh, but I'm, I'm also convinced that it follows uh, formally from, um, fr from, from the case uh, with Q coefficient. Um, all right, so this is, this is the statement of the conjecture. Um, and so as I said, uh, I'll, from now on, I will be working uh, exclusively in uh, uh, in the case where uh, the characteristic of k is zero, and I will take uh, for this veil cohomology, I will take the, the Durham cohomology. So I, I, I only consider this case. Um, and in characteristic zero, this is not really, um, it doesn't really matter which cohomology you, you will be choosing because all, all the classical veil cohomologies are somehow comparable. So. So it's not really uh, a loss of, gener of generality by, by doing this. The, the little question is I asked to make the comparison, to make the... To yeah, I mean, okay, so, so in this case, I will be t I'll, I'll take, okay? So this is, this is what, I'm, what I'm trying, what, what I will be uh, focusing on, okay? Right, so, um, so this is a, a kind of a, um, elementary statement, maybe, um, but uh, so the, the approach uh, to trying to uh, to do here for, for this conjecture uh, relies on another conjecture, which which I can only formulate uh, using the the mo modern language of the theory of motives, and so I I, uh, I want to start uh, by. Um, uh, by a paragraph, which where I will somehow uh, introduce this language and, and, and give you a few uh, well-known uh, theorem in this setting um, that I will be kind of using constantly later on. Okay, so this will be collection. Okay, so this is uh, in the sense. So uh, maybe I should say a la. Uh, Wibotsky and more than Wibotsky. Sorry? Pure mixed, so, so he, uh, yeah. This will be a uh, mixed motive from now on. Um, right. So le let me fix some notation. So, uh, uh, so we'll be often working uh, over this site of smooth varieties uh, over k. So k is fixed of characteristic zero. So this is a uh, category of smooth varieties over my base field. Um, and I, I, uh, I always uh, somehow uh, work locally for the tal topology. So we always work. Or the and I, I will be, do, be doing something which might seem a bit weird at, at the beginning. Uh, so I, I will not. I, I will refrain by, uh, from using uh, etal sheaves, and I will rather always work with pre sheaves, which are, but, but somehow think about think about them uh, etal locally. So this is, it's of course this is um, completely equivalent, but uh, somehow. Uh, I find it uh, more natural to, to do it like this, at least in this context. So, um, right. Uh, and, and so I, I will be considering, uh, so somehow, uh, uh, I will be often considering uh, complexes of pre sheaves uh, on smooth varieties and w w with coefficient. Uh, let's say in Q or or any uh, characteristic zero uh, field. 
uh, and I, I will always just say complexes of free sheaves to, uh, to, to, to uh, when, when I want to speak about something like this. Uh, so the, the, these guys, the, they form uh, a category, uh, right? So complexes, free sheaves, smooth varieties, so it's Q. Uh, and this, this category uh, is, um, so it, it has several um, model structures, so I, I will, um, I don't really need somehow to, to, to tell you what is a model structure. I just uh, I will just say a few few, few things that, that I will be using. Uh, so 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 this has this has uh, let's say two uh, model model structure which, which will be interesting for us. Um, so the, the first one is the so-called etal local. Structure. So this is j just to introduce some te terminologies that, that, that uh, I, will be, I will be using later. So the tal local model structure. Uh, so so the, the, what will be important for us is the notion of weak equivalence and the notion of vibrant object. So the, the weak equivalence is okay, this weak equivalences. Uh, in this case, they are, they are called etal local uh, equivalences. The etal local equivalences, and they are very very easy to describe. So the, these are uh, morphism of complexes of pre sheaves um, inducing isomorphism uh, in cohomology or in homology. After shift, after shiftifying, so after shiftification. Well, said differently, this is uh, this is the same as saying that that if you look at the induced morphism on the etal on the complex of the, of etal sheaves, this is just a quasi isomorphism in the usual sense. Okay, and uh, then th there are the, the, the vibrant object. And again, these are uh, very easy to describe. So these, these are called the etal vibrant, or et vibrant complexes of pre sheaves. And uh, they have the following description. So uh, these are so the, the complexes F admitting etal descent in the sense that whenever you uh, evaluate uh, this complex at, at, a, at a variety X, there is, a, there is this natural map that goes to uh, the derived uh, global section for the etal topology. Um, so, so this is, this would be co computing the uh, etal uh, hypercohomology of x with value in f. This is a quasi isomorphism for all x. So this is what it means to be etal fiber. So, but of course, to define our gamma etal, you have unbounded things to use. For example, the definition of Spalding's times unbounded complexes. So you have to use in some the notion of k injective. So you are using. No, no. I mean. I'm just using the fact that that, that, that is, an, uh, that is um, yeah, okay. I mean, it's maybe an equ equivalent to do this like this, but I'm just using the fact that there, that there is a, a model structure uh, for, for which uh, d d these are uh, the equivalences. So it's, it's just about, I mean, it's, it's probably the same. No, but you have to define L gamma tar XF. I'm saying this is more general than the classical. So this is, this is a derived functor. Uh, so so we have the functor uh, uh, um, f going to f x, yes. and I, I think it's derived uh, right derived functor for the model structure. Yeah, but it is not enough to use the very classical definition. It's prob no, no, no. It's not. It's not the classical one. It's yeah. So you, you are using some model structure, yes. which, and so. You are trying to define a model structure using a model structure, so this is circular. 
I'm, I'm not defining. I'm, I'm just t telling you properties. Okay. okay, okay. I'm just. I'm, I'm not proving anything here. I'm just telling you uh, some some okay. some words which. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is the, the first. Uh, uh, maybe I should. Say, yeah, I should also say that. Uh, so the uh, the homotopy category. Uh, for, for this model structure is is just or is equivalent uh, just to the derived category of sheaves on on this side. Okay, so let's keep coefficient. Okay, so we, we don't get anything really interesting here. It's just uh, just a convenient somehow way for me to to speak about this category. Uh, the second uh, model structure is uh, more uh, interesting. This is called the A1 et al. model structure. And again, I'm, I'm not trying to define this. I don't want to do it. I'm just telling you a few, uh, few facts, or just to give you some terminology. So the weak equivalences here, they are, they are called uh, the A1 et al. local equivalences. Uh, and and so, uh, contrary to, to the case of uh, etal local equivalences, these do not have a, um, a useful characterization. So we don't have a useful characterization for these. Uh, no useful characterization, which is, uh, of course, one of the source of difficulties to work with, with them. But uh, but at least we know that they are generated. So, but. They are generated in some sense by uh, by the previous one, by the tal local equivalences plus uh, th things of the form uh, A1x tensor Q uh, x tensor Q. Okay, so here. Uh, tensor Q is, of course, um, the, f the free uh, uh, the free sheaf of Q vector spaces, uh, which is generated on 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 on, this, on X or on A one X. Okay, so uh, if you put so 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 these maps and the previous one, uh, they generate a class of equivalences, and these are the uh, the A one eta local equivalences. Um, And similarly, there is. Uh, uh, I, uh, I will need also to, to describe the vibrant object here. So, vibrant objects. They are called the A1 et al. vibrant complexes, and they do admit a, a, a nice characterization. So th they should satisfy. Uh, two properties, so that they should be uh, first a tal fibrant in the previous sense, and they should have uh, should be that uh, if you uh, so f is uh, is a one tal fibrant if it's a tal fibrant, and if uh, when you evaluate at x and you map to f a one x, this is a quasi isomorphism. Okay, so. They satisfy etal descent, and they satisfy also uh, homotopy invariance. Okay. So, um, and and so in th in this case, the so the the homotopy category uh, has a, has a, is denoted by uh, d a uh, effective. Um, and uh, so it is known to be equivalent. So known. Oh, to be equivalent to uh, to Voivodsky's 
Cantilever of mod. Uh, so he, here I'm assuming, uh, so the effective one, I'm assuming that k is of characteristic zero and that I'm working with rational coefficients. Um, so yeah, I should maybe say what, what do I mean by the homotopy category in case you, you don't know what, what this means. This is just the category that, that one, one obtains by formally inverting uh, the class of uh, weak equivalences. So by, by inverting these maps, uh, you get a triangulated category, which is that one. And it is also fibrant objects with homotopy parameters. Exactly, yes. I, I, I'll say this in a moment, but yeah, so you're right. Okay, so, uh, all right, so, um, so maybe also let me do some notation. So, uh, given x here, so the, I, I denote by m effective x, uh, the object x tends to q considered in this category. So this is called the, uh, the effective motive of x. This is Okay, uh, so b because of this equivalence, um, we can we can use uh, a theorem of Wolbowski uh, uh, to to get uh, to get if, uh, an embedding uh, so from the category of effective charm motives inside this category. So we have a fully faithful. embedding like this. And in fact, uh, so this is, uh, this is a triangulated category. And in fact, it's even uh, compactly generated by, by the image of this. So it's compactly generated. By the image. So, it's a, so a good way to think about this is uh, as so, uh, so this this is being some kind of a triangulated completion um, of of the category of charm motives. All right. Uh, so the, the next thing I want to discuss now is uh, the notion of uh, of spectra of t spectra. Um, um, right. So maybe I don't know if it's a new paragraph, but it's, uh, so I so uh, I want to discuss uh, so t spectra and uh, t spectra. So so this is really. Uh, when I say T spectra, I really mean T spectra of complexes of, and so on, complexes. So uh, you don't invert the Tate motive in the definition. So it's just uh, the objects are just uh, the direct summand of uh, motives of proper smooth varieties. All right, so, uh, so I need to tell you what is the T spectrum. Uh, so there is a, there is a choice to, to, to be that, that we should make here at some point is the choice of T. So um, 
but somehow t is uh, t sh should be uh, should be thought of as um, uh, a model for the Tate motive q1 possibly shifted. And there are uh, many natural choices that one can take. Uh, so one of them is uh, we take p1 pointed at infinity. So this would be the, the reduced motive of p1. Or uh, a1 minus 0 pointed by 1, and so on. So I'll, I'll fix one of these, and, and I, I'll uh, sometimes I, I will change my my choice, and, and it's 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 no. I mean, we know that this is doesn't this will not really change anything if um, because so 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 these two things are somehow equivalent, equivalent um, up to a one et al. So, so maybe they are a one et al equivalent. So it doesn't really matter uh, which one you choose. So if, if you make this if you make this choice and then then um, then uh, a t spectrum uh, is very simple. It's just a collection indexed by the integers, maybe. Collection uh, consisting of um, so EN are complexes, prefuse, multiple varieties, and gamma N are j just maps from T tensor EN to EN plus one. Okay, so this is what is what is the spectrum? It's like in topology. Uh, there, is a, there are actually uh, other kind of spectra. So th there is something called symmetric spectra, which one should maybe better use. But I will not. I, I will just take this simplest uh, kind of spectra and pretend that, that, that they have uh, all the property I need. Yes, we are. We are trying to do this. Okay, so uh, so this uh, so the category of category of T spectra also has uh, also has many uh, model structure, uh, and I, I will be considering at least three uh, three model structure. So two of them is just uh, exactly. Uh, the previous one, but somehow considered level-wise, so there is uh, uh, the, lev the etal and a one etal uh, local structure. Maybe so the level-wise. Uh, so here, it's everything somehow is detected um, at each uh, level. So, um, uh, so just to give you an example. So, uh, if I have a morphism of spectra, I would I would say that this is is a level-wise uh, a one <laughs> et al uh, local equivalence. This is just if and only if. Uh, the induced map are like uh, are so for all. Okay, so and similarly for for fibrant, so uh, spectrum is uh, level-wise fibrant if all G C N are fibrant. There is also the notion of fibrations and co-fibrations. Yes, if I recall correctly. So right. those things are level-wise or not exactly? Also, also, yeah. For 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 this one is yeah. No, no, uh, sorry. Uh, not, 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 not for the cofibration, but for so the fibration and the and the weak equivalences are level-wise, but uh, the cofibration are more complicated. Oh, okay. 
But yeah, uh, I will not really use anything of, the, uh, of this kind. I mean, it's just. The tal and the tal is the same. The vibrations and, and equivalences are level wise? Or? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. Okay. So level wise, you, you define the equivalences uh, and the vibration level wise, and then you, you deduce the uh, co vibration by the uh, lifting property. Um, right, so the more, the more interesting one is uh, the stable. Stable A1 et al. local structure. And again, I will not define it, I will just uh, give you uh, some properties. So, I'll tell you what are the equivalences and what are the vibrant objects. So, uh, the weak equivalences are called uh, stable A1 et al. local equivalences. They don't have a nice uh, description. Um, no, no useful um, characterization. Rather, they are generated by. Um, they are generated. By the level-wise. A1 et al. local equivalences. And uh, the class or, or an end uh, morphism like this, which are, uh, which are isomorphisms, which are which or such that, or inducing an isomorphism for n large enough. Okay, so, um, morphism of spectra, which are which only differ uh, you know, at some um, at, at low level, uh, and 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 the previous one, they, they generate the class of stable equivalences. Um, it's a complicated matter. Yeah, complicated matter. yeah. it's 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 quite complicated. Yeah, but I I don't want to to go into into this if, if it's okay with you. It's it's complicated, yeah. It's uh, you have also to take push uh, push out, push out of, of, of things and, and so on, and tra transcendent composition and so. Okay. So it, it's not really a useful thing. I'm just saying words, which just to give you an idea what's what's going on. Uh, and then there is there is a vibrant object in this setting. Uh, these are called the stable. Uh, or the stably fibrant, the stably uh, A1 et al. fibrant object. And they, they do have a nice characterization. So uh, if E is, is, is like this, so if first you uh, at each level, so the EN are um, A1. It are vibrant, no surprise. And then the other condition is that you want um, the, the map that you deduce from the, the gamma n by adjunction. So the map that goes from En to the internal home, or yeah, is a quasi isomorphism. Where the internal home is computed using the model structure. No, no, no. This is not, not a derived one. It's just the uh, the naive one. Yeah. You don't need, because I, I already assumed this guy to be vibrant, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the en is already. I mean, this is already the derived one because this guy is vibrant.
All right, so the, the homotopy category for this uh, third, one, the third model structure for the last structure uh, is denoted by by uh, d a et al k. And again, it's known to be equivalent known to be equivalent to Vyvodsky's uh, dmk. Uh, here, we don't even need k to be of characteristic 0. It's true in general. Uh, and so, again, using what was uh, embedding, we get uh, a fully faithful embedding of the, the, the category of non-necessarily non effective motives, child motives, uh, into, into that. And uh, we have the same properties, so uh, this is compactly generated by the image. Sorry? Effective. Effective, yeah, exactly. Invertitate. Effective, you do not invert the state motive, and when, when there is no effective, you have inverted the state motive. Um, right, so, but, but here we, we get something uh, more. We get an extra property, which is somehow the, the, the whole reason why to, why, why to pass to the non effective setting. Uh, so we get the plus, we get an extra property. Is the following so uh, every compact object in the A et al is uh, strongly dualizable. Okay, so th th that is uh, there is a dual which really behaves like taking duals for vector spaces of finite dimensional vector spaces. So um, maybe I won't say exactly what this means. Maybe you already know. Um, OK, so another thing also which is uh, interesting, uh, which is also due to Wojewski, modulo these equivalences that I'm, I just mentioned, uh, we, we know that so that, that is this uh, infinite suspension functor from the A effective to the A. That sends a, a complex of pre sheaf to, uh, to the infinite suspension of f, which is by definition, uh, this is the spectrum you get by by, take, by putting in level n just uh, f tensor t to the n and, and taking identity as, um, as, as gamma n. Uh, so this functor is uh, fully faithful. And this is, uh, uh, this is um, a, a non-trivial statement. It's really a remarkable statement, I should say. Um, OK. So this, this has to do with, the, with uh, I mean, I think, yeah, the, 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 name, the name of the theorem of Wojewski that, that is used here is the cancellation theorem of Wojewski, which is which is behind this. OK, so um, yeah, maybe I should maybe give some motivation uh, for introducing these, these definitions. So you really give new construction for the for the for Wojewski category? It's, it's new, slightly new. It's not really completely new. It's, uh, you say yeah, it's, it's slightly different from, from the original. But not it's not the description of given value. It's slightly different from, from this. And it's actually not, not, not completely obvious that, that they are equivalent. It's, it's a theorem. And for example, we don't know this. If, if in the effective case, if k is, um, is of positive characteristic, we don't know this equivalence. So it's, it's, it, one has to do something. It's, it's not a completely empty statement. This is true in characteristic zero. Yeah. So, 
plus the Because it uses some of the original symbols. No, 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 no. It's something different. It's about the topology. Uh, it's something different. I mean, in Wojewski's setting, he um, because he, he uses finite correspondences, uh, like inseparable, inseparable, inseparable extension, uh, somehow or cover. Uh, whereas if you just use the topology, uh, these are not covered, oh, okay. right? So it has to do with this. And and in the stable setting, there is a way to to go uh, around this difficulty. But um. uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it seems that your definition of, of your TA effectively didn't use your finite correspondences. Yeah, there is no no finite correspondence. Why? Why we we only use smooth uh, push shifts over, over smooth over K? Then you could deduce this uh, embedding. I don't understand why. Because I, I'm I, so I, because I uh, it's known that uh, that these two categories are equivalent, and we have this embedding from here to here. By the uh, uh, it uses the uh, finite correspondence, but right. it, in a TA category, it didn't use. Yeah, but I, I told you they are equivalent at the end. So it's a theorem I'm saying that they are equivalent. Oh, okay. So even if you don't use, okay. okay. So there's there's no proof of this embedding that doesn't use. No, no. I, I'm probably you can you can find one. It's not. I don't know, but. <laughs> Oh, uh, the question was, is it possible to prove this embedding b without uh, passing by Wojewski's category? Like proving this embedding directly? Oh. From the non-effective, now it's not, now no. the non-effective chart, okay. Effective or non-effective, so the question makes sense in both settings. It is if we can prove uh, without using, without, uh, using finite correspondences, Okay, so let's see. So, if I had to give you some motivation, I'm not sure it's it's a good idea because I'm always not good, never good in giving motivation. So, let's see. So, uh, what, what, why would one be interested in kind in these kind of of notions? Uh, so, we we have this uh, embedding now, uh, put effective or non-effective. Um, okay, so if, if you go back to the statement of the of the conservativity uh, conjecture, so it's a statement which uh, about uh, about maps uh, in this category uh, that we would like to show that they are invertible in this category. So, in principle, we can let's say in principle we can uh, transfer. So, or let's see, principle given, maybe I should not say in principle. So given gamma uh, M N as in, as in the, as in conjecture. Um, so we, 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 we get, we deduce a morphism. Let's just maybe do it in the effective, in the non-effective setting. So we get the morphism of T spectra, and let's just put gamma tilde and tilde and tilde. So this is just the image of gamma by, by this embedding. And now, so saying that gamma is an isomorphism here is just saying that is exa exactly the same as saying that gamma tilde is a stable A1 et al local equivalence. Okay, so so now the task is. Knowing that gamma induces an isomorphism in cohomology, the task is to show that gamma tilde is a stable A1 et al uh, equi local equivalence. Okay. So, but then of course one, one would say why why would this be easier than before um, and one could argue that maybe there are more or there are more techniques for constructing 
uh, stable A1 et al. Okay. Equivalence is then just uh, constructing a cycle which would be an inverse uh, to gamma. Um, when you say asymptotic, you mean that it in, in price of uh, isomorphism in homology? Yes, yes. Uh, as, uh, I'm just assuming, or, or let's just say that I have a finite correspondence and I want to show that this is an isomorphism. Okay, so in principle, I could just. Huh? You assume that it is cohomologically correct. Yeah, let's assume that homology is, is, is okay. So then we, 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 we can pass to this uh, setting here, and then we have uh, a morphism of uh, T spectra, and we, we could try to see if we can, we can show that this is an A1 et al. local equivalent. Um, and um, so th there are indeed so, some, some examples. I mean, I, I tried to think uh, uh, yesterday about some example of, uh, of new uh, equivalences that, that they don't have uh, an analog in, in, in the context of Chow motives. Uh, and I can give you two examples, maybe just to, just to illustrate that, that this, this is potentially a good idea to do this. So um, maybe two examples of a new A1 et al. equivalences, new in the sense that, that we don't have them, we don't have an analog uh, for them in, in uh, Chow motives. Uh, so one is, is not really, um, so this, is, this is has to do with uh, uh, localization theorem uh, of Marez Wojewski. So this is a slightly different setting. We, we are not working anymore over uh, over a base field, but but rather or over some base scheme. So we have uh, S uh, a base scheme, and I take um, U inside S uh, an open, and uh, Z its complement. Complement. And then th there is uh, the theorem, which looks very, uh, very obvious, but in fact it's not so obvious. Uh, is that if you if you take x over s a smooth uh, s scheme, then you can look at the map uh, x um, modulo uh, x u, so the the inverse image in x of u. Um, this is a, this is a quotient of uh, pre sheaf offset, and then you tensor with Q, and there is a map uh, to the direct image uh, I lower star of um, uh, of uh, X D tensor Q, and and this is uh, this is an A one et al. local equivalence. And it is not an Italic local equivalence. So if, if you rem remove the A1 here, it's, it's not true anymore. It's wrong. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is one example. Um, yeah, another example, which is maybe more uh, mm, more interesting, maybe. And this has to do with the cancellation theorem that I, I just mentioned a few minutes ago. So uh, another example of such uh, phenomena of, of, of a new environmental equivalence is, is the following. So you take any, take any F complex of pre sheaves on smooth varieties. Then you have a map from F to uh, R et al. home. Uh, I can take T and T tensor F. Okay, so this is um, this is a map, and it's, it's very far from being a quasi-isomorphism or or even an Ital uh, equivalence. But it is um, thanks to Wolowski, we know that this is an A1 Ital local equivalence. Okay, so these are examples of of really non non. Uh, I mean, all, all these theorems are 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 quite uh, tricky to prove. It's are not maybe extremely difficult, but there are still uh, 
one still, one still has to do some work to, to, to get, so they are not complete trivialities, for, very far from being complete trivialities. Um, and that somehow that, that they give maybe some kind of a new uh, example of... Uh, so the derived, oh yeah, this is, the, so R et al, this is the, the, the right derived functor for the et al local model structure. Okay, so you, you, you replace this guy by an, an et al vibrant object and then you apply. Uh, right, so, so these are two maybe uh, two, two reasons somehow to uh, maybe to expect that one, one can go a bit further uh, in the conservativity conjecture. Um, but in fact, uh, m more, more importantly, so more, and this is really what, what, what I, will, I will be trying to use later. Uh, we, we can do some new construction uh, in the setting in, so it's in DA et al that we cannot do in, in the computer of Chom, what is for for a simple reason because this construction will will give you some some object which are not uh, char motives that will be really mixed motives and also they, they will not be necessarily compact they, they will be of infinite dimension and so on and we will, we will see example of, of this construction uh, later okay so so maybe try to give maybe yeah some motivation for uh, for working in this setting okay so I, I want to yeah, be before the break, I think I, there should be a break, right? Uh, so, and, and, oh, it depends on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'll give now some, some uh, compliment about uh, this language I have just introduced. Uh, so, let me compliment. So, uh, yeah, so one should think about, uh, so, so uh, this vibrant object, so, uh, so being vibrant is, is something like being uh, some kind of a, a complex of injectives or, or injective resolution. Like that. Of course, this is not, not correct, but it's a good approximation. Um, and so, uh, uh, and so we, 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 we have this, uh, and so in particular, uh, so as a consequence of this, weak equivalences between vibrant object are just the quasi isomorphism. So this is why it's nice to have a vibrant object because uh, which models which uh, I'm I'm just speaking in general. I mean I'm, I'm it's it's not a theorem, it's just uh, because usually with equivalence was defined uh, for complex of three shapes like for the tal thing it was yes. defined as being uh, yeah, I mean, for the cohomology shapes. Yes, yes. So, so uh, quasi isomorphism of uh, pre sheaves of complexes of pre sheaves Yeah. 
Okay. So here, here are some, some examples. Like so, if if I have f uh, to g and a one et al local equivalence, let's maybe give a name to this. Uh, with f and g or a one et al fibrant. Okay, then this implies that f is a quasi or f is a quasi isomorphism. Yeah, and uh, similarly, uh, if I have a morphism of spectra, so spectra, I usually write them in bold letters. Uh, let's say now it's a, a, a stable, a stable A1 et al local equivalence, and where uh, E and F are stably. A one is I fibrin, then this implies that that F uh, F is level wise a quasi isomorphism. Okay, so this is quasi isomorphism in this sense. Uh, yeah, quasi isomorphism of complexes of pre-sheaves. Yeah. Okay. So oh. it's equivalent. It's equivalent. Yeah. I mean, the, the other, other direction is uh, clear. Um, what is I wanted to say? Yeah, uh, so this is uh, maybe the first complement to say, and then the second one. Second one is um, about uh, so so. The notion, the notions, notion of uh, etal fibrant, uh, sorry, of A1 etal fibrant, is in practice maybe is too strong. So it's in practice uh, you ha you would have something slightly weaker than this. Uh, but yeah, so somehow the, the, a good weaker notion is the following. So a good is the following. So we say that F uh, is complex of pre is a one is is a one local. So there are too many local in this setting. I'm sorry, but this is not not my my terminology. It's Okay, so F is A1 local if uh, an, an etal fibrant replacement of F uh, is already A1 etal fibrant. So, so it's, a, it's a complex that if you, if you just make it etal fibrant, like if you just take an, an injective resolution of etal sheaves, uh, it becomes a one etal fibrant. Oh, I don't understand the sentence. You have this, this. I don't know. So f. So it's a definition. F is a one local. If oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if an etal fibrant is. And this is uh, actually equivalent to say that uh, that uh, if you look at the etal hypercomology of x with value in f, it's the same as the etal hypercomology of a one x with value in f for every x. Um, there is a similar notion also for for stably uh, a one etal fibrant. So. Uh, Maybe three. Um, so again, a, a definition. So we say that um, so a T spectrum is called 
is uh, is an omega spectrum. So this is a definition. Uh, if or maybe omega t, uh, if um, a level-wise a one et al vibrant replacement of uh, of e is already is stably vibrant, stably a one et al vibrant. Okay, so it has some of the properties of uh, of an uh, a1 etal, of a stably a one fibrant object. Uh, yeah. And so again, this this has uh, this is equivalent to say the following: uh, for every n, uh, the map from e n to R etal internal home T uh, e n plus one is uh, an A1 et al local equivalence. Okay, so it's, uh, if you are familiar with the notion of, of, a, of an omega spectrum in topology, uh, this is very similar to it. Okay? All right. So if you, if you want, it's a, it's a good time to make a break. All right, so I, next uh, paragraph is about uh, the Durham spectrum and the main conjecture. So that, as I told you at the beginning, um, so the, the, the approach uh, to conservation so the approach I have to the conservativity conjecture uh, somehow relies on a, on a on a, on a stronger co conjecture, which, which I will now uh, state. So this is what I call the main conjecture. Um, okay, so the, in order to, to state this conjecture, I need to introduce uh, an object, which is the, the Durham spectrum. So um, let's, uh, so I, I denote by, by omega, so the complex, so the, the usual Durham complex. Complex. They consider on, on smooth varieties. Um, so if I if I choose for simplicity, I, let me just take T to be uh, to be a one minus zero pointed by one. So this is this will be my uh, model for the Tate model. Uh, so we can construct uh, a T spectrum that I denote by omega uh, underline, um, which is given by uh, by the by the Durham complex, by, but but shifted by n. This and uh, the uh, the map gamma n is actually uh, gamma zero shifted by n, where gamma zero is a map that goes from t tensor omega to uh, omega shifted by one tensor omega. So this will be the usual delog tensor identity. And then multiplication. Okay, so it's a very simple construction, and it, give, it gives a spectrum which is uh, at each level essentially given by the by the Durham complex. So this is called the this is what what is what what I call the uh, the Durham uh, spectrum. Okay, so this is. Okay, so let, let me give you some properties of, of this. So we have the following uh, easy lemma, which, which um, uh, 
so the the complex of pre-sheaf omega uh, is A1 local in the previous sense. Uh, and in fact, we have uh, we have more. Um, in fact, it is essentially uh, A1 et al. fibrant, and more precisely, in fact, uh, if I so the, the, the restriction. Omega to uh, smooth varieties which are affine, affine smooth varieties, is uh, A1 et al. fibrant. Right, so it's, it's like a, a complex of injectives in, in this setting. Um, and we also have something nice, uh, similar, similar, also similarly for the spectrum. Uh, so Omega. Is um, is an omega spectrum. So I'm sorry for this. These two omega have nothing to do with each other. Um, but mo more precisely, so in fact, the restriction of of the spectrum to again to the affine smooth varieties uh, is stably uh, A1 et al. fibrant. Okay. So this is a very simple lemma. It's just, uh, just rephrasing some um, well-known properties of the Rump cohomology. Um, right, so this, uh, an algorithm really goes through, but, but this, this follows from homotopy invariance of the ramp cohomology and maybe something like projective model formula. Or if you want, or uh, said differently, um, you can, uh, can also use the current formula and the cohomology of, uh, of GM. Okay, so it's uh, so we have this, and so as a consequence, this, so whenever I, I want to to compute um, uh, the set of morphism from from uh, from an object to 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 here or to here, I can just do this up to quasi isomorphism, essentially. Um, so uh, so this has the following uh, consequence. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, right, so, uh, maybe I, uh, okay, do it as a remark in general. So, uh, if, you have, uh, if you have an object F which is vibrant, so vibrant, so it could be uh, either A1 et al. vibrant or could be uh, stably A1 et al. vibrant and so on. So, uh, morphism from A to F in the homotopy categories uh, is just morphism up to quasi-isomorphism. Uh, yeah. Okay, j j just, just, uh, okay, just this, the complex of morphism. Hmm? A is an, any object, so just take a cofibrant maybe. A cofibrant. All right, so. Okay. Uh, an object, usually an object of the site is a cofibrant. Yes, okay. yes. So uh, you, see, uh, uh, you see that if I apply this, uh, what I said here, to, uh, to the motif of a variety, which is, which is, uh, which is cofibrant by definition, X, X, X tensor Q is, uh, is cofibrant. So as a, as a consequence, I get that the, the ramp cohomology, so for any X small scale, uh, the Durham cohomology of X that then identifies with the set of morphism in the A effective between the effective motive of X uh, and uh, omega, uh, maybe shifted by star. Hmm? 
Yes, this is, this is a homotopy category. Yeah. And uh, similarly, this is home in the stable, and x is omega. Okay, so we have this formula which just follows directly from, from this lemma. So said differently, uh, these objects, they, they represent the Rank homology. Okay, so these objects, omega and omega underline, represent the Rank homology. Of course, this is completely total tautological. I'm not really doing anything here, but represent the Rank homology. But at least, so it gives you, give you some nice characterization of these objects. OK, so, so up to now, uh, there is no reason to prefer omega or omega on, on omega on the line. But uh, the, next, uh, the next proposition is really special to the, to the, t, to the, the RAM t spectrum. It's not, it's, it, it won't be true for the RAM complex. So here's a proposition, which is due to Szynski uh, degrees. And say the following. So the, the T spectrum omega underline uh, is a um, so is a field in A at R K and field in, in the sense of computative algebra, um, namely every module so this is of course I didn't say it, but but Omega is a ring object um, and I'm saying that every module over Omega is free so o Omega is like a, a ring object or a yeah. infinity something I'm not considering this as, a, as an infinity I'm just I'm, I'm working in the homotopy category and I'm just saying that um, this is a, this is a monoidal this is a monoidal category, okay. and I'm just saying as a, as an object here it is a field. So it has a product structure. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I mean it is also an, an infinity ring uh, spectrum. Yeah. But I'm 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 saying that it is a field even in the homotopy category. So you but you have to consider the ring some some ring structure in a huge sense in the homotopy category. <coughs> yeah. So it it has it has a. It has in the strong sense, and that therefore also in the naive sense. Okay. And in the naive sense, it is a, it is a field. So any model in naive sense is free. Yeah. Three. yeah. Uh, and maybe I should say uh, because uh, there, there might be uh, two, 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 two possibility for what what is a free in the setting. Uh, so let's say more precisely, if if M as a module over omega, then there exists a canonical isomorphism uh, between M and uh, the global section of M tensored with omega. So I, I explain this in a moment. Canonical isomorphism, or, or maybe I should say that there is a natural morphism here, and it's an isomorphism. So gamma m is a, is a complex I, of k vector spaces yes. in the Dirac integral of k yes. vector spaces. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. So it is free with with yes. gradient. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's a graded field, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh, I still have that. OK, so let, let me uh, sketch the proof of this proposition. Uh, and so I should say that this, is co this proposition is completely, uh, completely wrong for, uh, for the Duram complex, for, 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 the, for that guy here. So in the sense, every module is free of the over the Omega. Yes. It means that every module is free of the over the Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Is this property true for any ring homology? 
Yes, it's actually, it's actually true for any vehicle model sequence. And uh, in fact, it's, as you, see, you will see, it's a consequence of the Kunit formula and, and duality. It's really very simple. Um, right, so I, I will not, uh, maybe I, let me first tell you what is gamma m what, for any motive uh, m. Uh, so this is, uh, you can think, think about this as, as a global section of m, and it's, it can be defined as uh, the complex of morphism R home from, from the unit. Q0 to M. Okay, so this is our home in, in DM et al. Okay. Uh, more concretely, this, what, what is this? You, you, so if M, so remember M is a spectrum. Uh, so what you can do, uh, you can first ma make it vibrant, so stably A1 et al. Fibrant replacement of this. Uh, take level zero, take global section. This is, this is what it is here. Okay. All right. So this is a complex of vector spaces. Um, so and I, I, I'll prove this only for uh, somehow se semi-free maybe uh, module. So I, I, as I assume. So in fact, the, the general case reduce. I will not do the, re the reduction. So the general case. Reduces uh, formally and easily uh, to the case where um, where m is of the form omega tensor some motif m zero or some m zero. Okay, I, I just do this case, and it's really a, an, an easy reduction to. To pass to the general case, and in fact, I can also assume uh, M zero to be compact, and this is because uh, every M is some kind of collimit of compact objects. Um, right. So, and in, in this case, we can use we will use uh, duality. So, uh, so we have remember recall that uh, in, because M zero is compact, M zero is strongly dualizable. And as a consequence, this means that uh, tensoring with M0 is like taking also internal home from the dual of M0. So we have this formula, omega tensor M0 is the same as internal home from the dual of M0 to omega. OK, so, so this, is, this is exactly the, the place where I cannot uh, do this argument for uh, in, the, in the effective category, because then uh, we don't have uh, we don't have strong strong dual for, for compact objects. All right now, now so now this is uh, if you think about it, um, how, how how do I compute uh, th this object here? So uh, if if I if I want to evaluate this at x, so if if I evaluate if I evaluate at x k, and if I use the this uh, this uh, this remark I just made here that that this this guy is representing the Ramkin homology, and then if I also use the, the Kunet formula, right? So plus uh, previous observation plus uh, the Kunet formula. Okay, I, I see that this is just the same as um, um, so the home of M0 to omega, our home uh, tensored with omega. So maybe I, I went a bit too fast here, but uh, you see, so if, if I evaluate at x, what, what do I get here? I get the cohomology of x tensored with M0 dual. Okay, so by the definition of the internal home, uh, let's do it here. So again, if I look at 
evaluated at x. Uh, this is uh, the drum cohomology. Put star here. This is the drum cohomology of x tensor m zero. No, no. Every, everywhere is derived. So this is our home. Our home. Yeah. Okay. So. So if I map x to, to this object, I get the cohomology of x tensor with m0. But this is, by the current formula, this is the cohomology of x tensor the cohomology of m0. Okay, which I can also write as just omega evaluated at x tensor that. Okay, so this is, this is why we have this formula. Okay. So this, this, yeah, this, this show that. So and this is a vector space. So it's of okay, this is a complex of vector spaces. Okay, vector spaces. Uh, tensor omega, and this is, uh, and also uh, should, uh, and and this, um, yeah. The, so there is still one, one maybe one small step is to remark that this complex is indeed uh, gamma of uh, of uh, of this. So gamma of m or gamma of omega tensor m. Remember, this is uh, the, the, the group of morphism from the unit to this tensor product. But, but m0 is dualizable. This is also morphism from m0 dual to omega. OK, so this, this guy here is exactly gamma of, of that. And this is what I wanted to show. <coughs> So it's Okay, so uh, I, I use this uh, to make a definition also. Um, so we, we can define the, the Dram uh, realization uh, as follow. So if I have a motive, um, so I, I set R Dram uh, of M to be, by definition, this uh, global section uh, of M tensor only. So, so this, this defines uh, uh, a functor, or the RAM, which is, uh, which is a monoidal functor uh, from dA et al k to uh, dk, that particular of k vector spaces. And uh, um, so uh, yeah, this is uh, it's called the the Dram realization. Okay. Just maybe let, let me just say that. Uh, so if you apply this, it's it's the homology, yeah, homology. So if you apply this to to the motive of X, you get really the dual of the homology. All right. So, okay. So now I, I want to uh, 
to, to, to state this conjecture that I mentioned before. Uh, and I need a small construction before, do, before doing this. So, um, so uh, maybe just a uh, remark, maybe construction. So if you, have, uh, if you have an object A in some monoidal category, and let's say it's a, it's a ring object, in some other category, uh, you can form uh, the so-called uh, church complex. So this will be a cosimplicial gadget, which is uh, which looks like this. Okay, so it's somehow the, the dual of the church. Uh, complex that you get from a cover. Um, so the map here are given by, by the unit. So this is unit tensor identity. This is identity ten tensor unit. This is multiplication and so on. So there is uh, such, such an object. And uh, the, I want to apply this construction to, to the Dram uh, spectrum. OK, so and uh, but one has to be a bit uh, uh, careful here one has to to make a confinement replacement so uh, it's not really important for what I want to do but just in case uh, so okay so choose a cofibrant placement of Omega which is also which is still which is a commutative or yeah which is again which is is also, which is still a commutative ring object. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, okay. O omega is a commutative ring object in spectra. Ah. I didn't say it maybe clearly, but it is without without passing tomotopy. It's it's it has a multiplication. It's And th which is still means that the uh, compatibility. Yeah, so, it's, uh, so there will, will be a morphism from here to here, and I want this to be a morphism of commutative rings. Nodes. Yes, 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 in these spectra, yeah. Without, uh, without passing, yeah, on the nodes. Okay, okay so once, once we've done this, it's, uh, we, can, we can apply this construction. And oops, we have the following. So I can now state the following conjecture. So this is what I call the main conjecture. Um, so the map from, so I have it like this, from k0 to whole limit h omega cofibrant. Uh, is an isomorphism so uh, I, I, I choose to say this conjecture in in, um, uh, in motives with coefficient in, in k which is I think the natural thing to do here so so k0 is just the unit uh, object so it's k is q0 times uh, x scalar extended to, to k uh, here also the, the tensor product is, is, is taken over k. Okay, so the definition. And um, yeah. So so this is this is, this is the main conjecture. And um, mm, so here's a remark. Which is uh, kind of important. So the the homotopy limit is computed with respect to the 
A1, it's a stable A1. Local uh, model structure. Um, and this is exactly what, what, what makes this conjecture very difficult. Um, so if, if, you, if you would allow to, uh, your set to compute the somatopy limit in some uh, weaker or some, some different structure, for example, if you, if you remove stable from here, if you just compute the somatopy limit in just in the, in the level wise A1 et al local structure, uh, this would be a much, much easier thing to, to, to do. In fact, I think uh, one can prove it quite easily. So it's really, the problem is, is really coming from the this, from this stability here. Um, yeah. but, but on the other hand, if you, if you just, uh, I mean, if you replace whole limit by, by, by a whole limit compute, computed in a different model structure, like if you remove the sta stability here, uh, then the statement that, that you get is kind of not interesting at all. You, don't, you cannot prove, any, you cannot do anything with it. Um, so, for example, if you so th the next lemma will, will will be saying that this conjecture implies a conservativity conjecture, uh, and we will be using uh, really that, that this whole limit is computed in this model structure here. Otherwise, it doesn't work. All right. So let let me state this lemma. So. Uh, So if you take the homotopy limit and somehow object by object, it really makes, I don't know if it makes sense. What do you mean by object? Uh, maybe I'm <laughs> not sure uh, what, because usually your, your, your things are three covers of three shifts and some, but now I'm lost. I don't know exactly what you are. Everything is in T-spectrum or? Yeah, yeah. So it's everything is in T spectra here. So, so its, it's components are, are complexes of yes, pre sheaves okay. yes, on smooth varieties. On smooth varieties. So yes. you can evaluate each of them on yes. Okay. Now, so suppose you consider such an evaluation, mm -hmm. and then you have co actual complexes of maybe k vector spaces. Yes. Yes. And so you can take the homotopy limit. Yes. And is the homotopy limit that you take? Obtained yes. by taking it. No. 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 <laughs> no, no. You said something about it that is. Huh? I said something. So. You. So I, 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 if, if I have time today, I, I'll say uh, more concretely what, what, what this means, the somatopy limit. Okay, but I, I just realized that I, I'm. Yes, if I remove stable, uh, the, then, then this becomes a much, uh, much easier statement to prove. Um, so I, I mean, I, I had to convince that I didn't try to, to write down the details, but I'm, 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 I think it's, uh, one, can sh one can prove it uh, without much, much difficulties if you remove stable. And then it corresponds to what they said, or not? No. So what what what, what you said would, would be re remove everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Then it corresponds to what you said. Yeah. Yes. It's and it's fine. Yes. Yeah, it's 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 it's, uh, it's very easy. Yeah. To prove. To, 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 to. No. I mean, it's not 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 very easy. It's it's. I mean, it's not. Uh, no. Huh? So, so the, the statement for the effective is very easy, and um, you, you can, uh, yeah. So if if we don't work with spectra, if we just work with effective, uh, you can put a one eta local. It's it's fine. You or you can or you can remove this. Uh, all, all of these statements are true and are easy easy to prove. Okay. Right, so I I'm just just wanted to say that somehow the, the main trouble is coming from from this uh, adjective here, stable. All right, so I I, I, I think I s I have now like fifteen minutes maybe, and I'm a bit um, yeah, I should maybe hurry up a little bit. So um, yeah, okay. So so here's a, here's a lemma. So uh, th so th this conjecture implies. implies conservativity. Okay, 
So I want to explain this. In fact, it, it implies uh, more. It implies that, um, mm, so here's the proof, uh, even more. It implies that uh, the, re the realization functor from dA et al to dK is conservative on compact object. Okay, so this is strong, uh, strictly, I mean, it's stronger than uh, conservativity for Chow motive because uh, we have this embedding. Um, and and in, in this in this triangulated setting, it's enough to show that uh, uh, so enough to show that that if you if a motive realizes to zero, then m is zero. Okay, because then you you just if you have a morphism, you take its cone and showing that that the cone is zero is the same as showing that, that the morphism is invertible. Okay, so let, let, let me explain this implication here. So, so if we if we know that the uh, that R the, R the ram of m is zero, uh, this implies that in fact that m tensor omega is zero. And so why why that this is because of what I have explained before, uh, this is just R the ram. If you if you if you look at the, at, the, at my notation, this is just isomorphic to this. Because this is a field, and like, yeah. okay, so so we can uh, upgrade this, this uh, vanishing here to a vanishing of a motive, m tensor omega, um, and then you see immediately that this implies that uh, m tensor church of omega is zero as a cosimplicial um, motive. Um, this of course implies that you can pass to the, to the homotopy limit. And get and still get zero. Okay, so here of course this, this requires the fact that you are computing homotopy limit in in the right model structure. Otherwise, you cannot do this implication. Okay, so here here it's one point where you you need to be computing the homotopy limit in the in this model structure. Um, and then let me continue here. So because M is compact. Uh, M is strongly dualizable, and and therefore tensoring with M commute with homotopy limit. So we get M tensor homotopy limit equal to zero. Okay, and now now we just uh, so now it's clear. So if if we have this conjecture, then this uh, this is just the unit object. So this is M equal to zero. Okay, so this is. Uh, how one, how one get uh, the conservativity conjecture from such a statement. Now uh, there's an observation that this. So if you just if you are just interested, interested in the conservativity conjecture, uh, in fact this conjecture here is is too strong. You you, you don't you can you can uh, you can adapt this argument with, with somehow with less uh, than, than 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 this conjecture, and I, I want to explain this now. So uh, so we do not need the full strength. Of of this main conjecture, for conservativity. So th there is a weaker version of this, which is sufficient for for the con for conservativity. Um, and to explain this, I, I need to introduce uh, one more object. So um, so maybe just here's a remark. So. Uh, we know that uh, 
this category has a T structure. So called the homotopy T structure. And, um, and it, it does the following. So if you, so the truncation functor are, so if, if E uh, is a stably, in fact, I don't need stably. So if, if E is a level wise, A1 et al vibrant, then the truncation uh, of E is given as Oh, sorry, uh, like this. So you just truncate at, at each level, and, and it gives you the right uh, object. Um, but it's important, in fact, to, to, to have this objective here. And, uh, and again, this is not completely, it's, it's not, not an obvious fact, but it's, it's true that, that you have this, this no, destruction. Homological notation for truncation? Yes, 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 yes. So this is a complex that have that have only homology in positive degrees. Okay, so this is uh, okay, and so I, I, I apply I will apply this to uh, to omega. So uh, so in, so for example, if I apply this to omega, I get I get the spectrum which, which has um, the following shape. So it's given by uh, the truncate at minus n omega, the, the RAM complex, and then you shift by n. Okay. And it's easy to check that, 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 the, that the map gamma n that defines the spectrum somehow uh, induces maps on, on, these, on the truncations. Um, yeah, so, 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 this, so at level n, this is a spectrum which somehow C sees um, the RAM cohomology up to, up to degree n. Okay so, okay, so with this, I can now state a, a weak version of this conjecture. Um, say the following, there exists a morphism of ring object in D A et al. Um, between the homotopy limit and the truncation. Okay, so of course this is a, this is weaker than than that because uh, certainly uh, there is a map from k zero to to this. So so this is a weaker statement. Um, and so maybe here's a, re a remark. So. So you could ask why, why this object? Uh, in fact, you, you, can, you can weaken the conjecture uh, with you, you can choose any um, any T spectrum, and and you, you you could ask yourself if there is a map from this guy to to, to your ring object. Um, so the answer for this is that this is uh, this is the uh, how to say the. This gives, so this gives the weaker, weakest form of main con of the main conjecture, which is which is which is still strong enough uh, for conservativity. Okay, so this is one reason. And the other reason is that it's it's a, it's a kind of a nice statement because it, it involves only one object somehow, um, and one could hope that that indeed one can relate this uh, homotopy limit of omega of, of church of omega with with the truncation of omega. So that okay, so I, I I don't know I try, I can try to explain very quickly. Why it is sufficient? Uh, wh wh why this is sufficient to to obtain conservativity? Um,
And so lemma of the last conjecture implies also conservativity. All right, so again, we, we um, mm, yes, so, uh, so the point here is, um, um, yeah, so the point is, is as follows. So, so if you have, so uh, if, if M compact, uh, such that the esterization is zero, then, as, as we have seen before, this implies that uh, M tensors the homotopy limit is zero. Okay. Uh, so if if we have the strong form of the conjecture, this is this this enables us to conclude. Now we have something slightly weaker. Um, so this, this will give us, this would imply that uh, M uh, mapping to, um, so you see, the, so the, the map, there is a map from M to M tensor, um, tensor this truncation, because you're just uh, tensor with the unit. And th th thanks to this uh, weak form of the conjecture, uh, this map factors through this object, which which is zero because I assumed that the, the, the realization of, uh, of M is zero. So we conclude that this is a zero map um, from M to M tensor tau bigger than zero. But since this is an, uh, this is an, um, this is an algebra, this actually implies that M tensor this ring is also zero. Okay, so it's a clear. Um, okay, and um, tensor truncation bigger than zero, omega is zero. Ah, because you are tensoring with the ring. Okay. Right. Yeah. So if, if the unit map is zero, then then the the the, whole, the model is zero. Right. So the yeah. So you, we see that to conclude, it's enough to show. Therefore, it's enough to show that the functor tensoring with omega that goes from d d a et al k to d a et al uh, k, but uh, with the structure of a module over over this. So this is the category of the homotopy category of modules over this algebra. It's conservative. So you feel modules in the right sense? No, 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 no. In the right sense. No, no, no. In the right sense. Yes, yes. Which you didn't define. Okay. No, I mean this is an uh, this, this guy is a is an uh, so this is this t spectrum is a is an algebra in in, in uh, category of t spectra, and I can speak about module over it, over it. Okay. Right. So so I I I'll tell you what, why this is conservative. Uh, but only for Chow motives. Uh, it's also actually it's actually true in general, uh, but the argument somehow uh, requires uh, uh, more time. So for Chow motives, it's, it's, uh, it follows from the following diagram. So um, so we have this embedding, and it turn, turns out that, that there is uh, so okay. there is this there is another embedding here, but but uh, with Chow motive uh, for the algebraic equivalence. Okay, so maybe I should tensor with k everywhere. But. What do you mean by algebraic? Uh, so cycles up to algebraic equivalence. Oh, to algebraic equivalence. Okay, so tensor with k also. So here is this coefficient in k. Um, right, so there is, there is such a such a diagram, uh, commutative, and this is a fully faithful embedding. Um, and then, 
and then it's clear that that so this this implies that that this is conservative on Chomos because this is conservative on Chom this is conservative uh, by, uh, by by Voisin Voivodsky theorem so this is conservative by uh, Voivodsky Voisin Nilpotent theorem. Okay, so the only point is really to, to understand why, why do we have such, such an embedding, but this is also something which is kind of classical. This embedding follows from the, the block August formula. Right, unfortunately, I don't have much time left to, to, to explain this in details, but uh, maybe I can, I can take like 10 minutes just to, to say a few words about this homotopy limit. So how, how do we compute this homotopy limit? Maybe this is um, okay. So, um, yes, okay. So, how to compute okay? So um, yeah, so I mean, th th I should say that so th this conjecture, like uh, like even the main conjecture, seems uh, mm, seems pr pr pretty ap approachable. I mean, wh when you see it, you s the, the, the first reaction would be uh, to try to compute the homotopy limit, and and somehow one can do one can do this in some sense. Uh, at least one one can understand concretely what it means to to take a homotopy limit in this setting. So. Uh, yeah, okay, we have the following lemma, which is pretty standard. So, uh, so let, let, let I, I do it in general because the notation are maybe slightly easier then. So let, let, let E uh, be a cosimplicial uh, T spectra. Okay, so for example, the Chetch, comp Chetch uh, cosimplicial object associated to, to omega underlined. Um, so let's assume that. So there is one coordinate for the T one index for the T spectrum and another index for the cosimplicial coordinate. So this is the cosimplicial coordinate. And uh, each for each cosimplicial yeah. coordinate it is spectrum. It is spectrum, yeah. And everything commutes strictly. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Right. The cosimplicial object in the category of yes. this spectrum. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> a cosimplicial T-spectrum, yes. That's, uh, okay, so it assumes that, that, e, that each, uh, at each uh, uh, cosimplicial degree, uh, this is, uh, is, is, is stab stably A1 et al. vibrant. Um, then, then, then the the homotopy, the homotopy limit is is easy to to write down. Um, okay, so then uh, the T spectrum is what you expect. So uh, is mm, let's see <coughs> in in spectrum in level in level n is given by you take the total complex uh, with, with, a, with a product not, 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 not with sums uh, of the normalized uh, complex or don't even need to, to take the normalized complex but it's just of here okay so uh, at, at each level you have you have a cosimplicial uh, complex of pre sheaves okay so um, at level n you you you, you 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 take the normalized object so this will give you a bi complex of complexes of pre sheaves and you take the you take the total complex but you take it uh, for the product not not for the sum okay. why did you write assume that e e e, e, e d so but, uh, so this is a cosimplicial object so that is this is a degree. Yes. To the normalized relative, the cosimplicial structure. Yes, yes. 
And of course, usually there are two ways to view the normalizers, uh, like quotient or sub. Or sub. Doesn't matter. No, it's, they are the same. No. I don't need to take n. I mean, I just I, I don't want to take n. I just want uh, okay. I, I didn't want to to put uh, a dot again here, but okay. it's the same. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's just uh, you, you you pass with the bi complex and then you take you take. The complex. You, you can apply this if you restrict omega to after You can. You can do this. This assumption is satisfied if you restrict to after varieties or omega. Oh, he, uh, yes, th this you can do. You can restrict to FM varieties. For, a, for, for omega, yes. For omega, yeah. But then not, not, not for the second one, for the tensor product. Yeah, so, right, so this is how you compute the, the homotopy limit, but this is in the case where you have this uh, assumption here. Um, and in general, what you, what you need to do is to, uh, to, re to, to make a fiber replacement or establish fiber replacement. At, at each level, b b at each uh, degree, b b before uh, applying uh, this lemma. Okay, so uh, so if if the E D are not uh, stably a one et al fibrant. Then you need to ma take a replacement first. You need to make a fiber replacement. Before applying this. And uh, again, this, this, is, uh, this is why it's a complicated uh, thing to compute because it's complicated to to make this replacement and yeah. Uh, now le le let's go back to this to the problem that we so, so to the case that you are interested interested in. Maybe, maybe before doing this, let, let me uh, say a few more words about how to um, how, how, how you make this replacement. So, so let, 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 let me still uh, be working in this uh, abstract setting. So, uh, yeah. So, um, so, so fortunately, uh, we have nice uh, ways to. Uh, make fiber replacement in this setting. So, um, so here's uh, maybe I should start with the proposition. So, there are two parts. So, uh, if you start with f, a complex of pre sheaves. And you want to make it uh, A1 et al fibrant. Uh, so I, th there is a way to do this, which is as follow. Um, so then, uh, then an A1 et al fibrant replacement of F is given by. The so called uh, singular construction uh, on. Uh, okay, so you, you take your f, you make it, you first make it et al fibrant. This is, there is no way here to, th th there is no formula for making something et al fibrant, but, uh, but then if you admit, if you, if you admit this, this, this bit here, then, then the, to pass to the a1 fibrant, you just apply some concrete construction. So here, here this is. Uh, this is uh, so called Susin Wojewski construction, which is like the singular construction in topology. So, so I just 
write. I, I write it now. Uh, so this is a total complex. Now you take direct sum instead of product uh, of uh, of internal homes from the algebraic simplices, and algebraic simplices are are this, this guy. So spectrum. Okay. So this is a. Um, and the second part is uh, ab about how you make something and uh, sta stably vibrant. So if um, if E is a level wise A one eta vibrant spectrum D spectrum, then then um, uh, then establish a one et al vibrant replacement of E is given by something that is called lambda infinity uh, of E and this is a, a collimate over the integers r of um, um, something like this internal home from t tensor r to s minus composers r of e. So uh, I just say it orally. So this is, uh, or maybe uh, not it like this. So one shift. One can shift the level by R uh, in the spectrum. Okay, so I, um, at level zero it becomes E R, at level one it becomes E R plus one, and so on. And there is a map. So then you take the loop space in some sense and take a collimate. This this will be lambda infinity, and this is uh, an eta vibrant replacement of E. Okay, so so it's just this is clear that that we have concrete ways of understanding what is how how do we get. Um, a fibrant replacement. Um, uh, so it's, it, it involves first applying this level wise and then uh, applying this uh, to, to make the spectrum an omega spectrum. Okay, so this is said, then, then the, the question becomes very um, kind of concrete. So if you put all this together, um, so maybe I just r write a formula. It's not really. Very useful, but so um, so if you sum all this up, so at the end, uh, so at level n, this uh, homotopy limit that I want to compute. Um, so the core limit is uh, just the naive core limit. Yeah. It's not, it's it's no, here it's it's a filtered collimate, okay. so it doesn't matter. And does the filtered collimate preserve this kind of all the fiber? Yes, yes. It's because of finite commercial dimension. Uh, ah, so the commercial commerce is filtered. Okay. Yes. Um, right. So, so, so this guy that I, I would like to understand at level n is given by 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 this. Uh, kind of formula, which so it's a total complex, but for the product, then it, there is a collimit R in N, there is an internal home T tensor R, total complex for the plus. Okay, something like that. And this is etal fibrant. Okay, right. And so, and and so somehow the, the, um, the difficulty in in in, in trying uh, to compute this object, uh, or I mean, one one way to, to, to compute this object is to, uh, to 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 show that it's it's okay, or to prove that you can uh, commute uh, 
So th there are these two kind of uh, of colimit that, that are involved that, that that are that appears here. So a, a colimit. Uh, um, so this is a colimit for computing the uh, a one et al five minute replacement. This is a colimit to make the spectrum an omega spectrum. So if if you could uh, if you could commute these two uh, colimit with this uh, with this limit here, uh, then you would be able to compute. Um, this complex. It will be easier to compute. What is the other colimit? Here. So ah, okay. it, it, it's, if you want, this is a colimit over, it's a co-simplicial, it's a simplicial uh, space, and you are taking the colimit of this simplicial space. You said cos plus or? It's, uh, oh. So, okay. so this, is a co this is a a co-simplicial object. This is a simplicial uh, thing. And I pass to the of the yes. And so we will see that, that there is a way to deal with this uh, with this colimit here. But uh, what what will what is really the trouble is this colimit here. This is the thing that is uh, responsible for the spectrum for the omega spectrum. All right. So I, I think I stop here today.